for the sign of Gemini. Hello and welcome to my channel card. So with this card, love would have been going very well for you at that time. If you're, if you were committed in a relationship, it was likely to be very strong, a very strong relationship that was mutually supportive and beneficial. On the other hand, if you were looking for someone, this would have been a much better than average time to meet people. You would have been in a self-confident phase at that time. So you got out and you socialized, you made friends and you mingled. Or that's what you should have done. Or that's what you should have done because you may have been or you could have been or you would have been very pleasantly surprised by how things worked out. And it's paired with the King of Wands. Now in terms of love, the King of Wands is a great, excellent card in the tarot. Now this card signifies that someone you care about, they also had protective and caring feelings about you too. And they were also willing to work hard on the relationship to make it work if that's what you two needed to do. Now at this time or at that time in the past, you could have been more than usually focused on your work or career, uh, but you more than likely made time for romance. Even if you were single, because you knew if you didn't, you'd probably end up with work being the only thing in your life. And that's the past. Now let's move on to the present. We have the five of wands. Now, as you can see, take a look at the picture on this card. Uh, it clearly shows that the person you have your eye on, they're possibly being pursued by several people. And you probably already know this. And if you don't, uh, it's clearly showing that they, they are. So even if, it, even if this is the case, you need to give it your best shot. You also need to know that you've done all that you can do for this relationship where your heart is involved. Keep in mind, this could work the other way and mean that you're going to be pursued by several interested people romantically. Uh, so it could go either way. It could be your partner being pursued by several or it could be you being pursued by several. And the Five of Wands is paired with the Tower card. Now this can be, but not necessarily, an indicator of a relationship that's about to come to an end. If you are in a relationship that you absolutely positively don't want to see end, this is, this is a very important time for damage control and for clear communications. Find out how your partner is feeling, find out how they're doing. Don't make assumptions. Find out for sure. And with these two cards paired together, the five of wands, you or either your partner will be or you are being pursued by several interested people romantically. Okay, now this may be a problem because there's the tower card that it's paired with. Um, it could be uh, causing some problems and tension in the relationship because of all the uh, several people pursuing you or your lover. Uh, and that's what it's showing. The tower card, it's time for damage control, clear communications. Uh, uh, so if you don't wanna see the relationship in uh, you need to talk about things, get things cleared up 
straighten some things out, get rid of some of the extra people that that are pursuing you or them. Um, uh, so if you don't want to see it come to an end, clean up the situation. You know, fix it so that uh, it's not a problem for you or your lover. Don't make assumptions, though. Find out for sure, especially if you don't want it to end. Damage control is needed right now. And that's the present. Let's move on to the challenge. Now, the star card. It's an excellent time to meet someone new if you're in the market for a new relationship. Although it's not possible that love could simply knock at your door, but it's more likely that you'll need to get out there and socialize, mix and meet people. Now, keep in mind, a new relationship could happen at any time, so don't turn down invitations at this time. If you're already in a love, committed relationship, then that relationship could well move to the new level, the next level. One that's not only higher, but more fulfilling. So make the most of this opportunity and build on it. And then it's paired with the sun card. Now this is a time, if you're in a committed relationship, when both you and your lover may be in a more than usual need of space. This is not the time to be whiny, clingy, or needy. If you're looking for love, it definitely could be on the horizon for you. So with these two cards paired together, the star card, it's an excellent time to meet someone new. Okay, so get out there and socialize. A new relationship could happen at any time, so don't turn down invitations. Okay? And with this new person coming in, or if you're already in a committed relationship, uh, now is not the time to be clingy, whiny, or needy. Okay, but a new relationship is on the horizon. Or if you're already in a relationship, it goes to a newer, better, higher level. But just remember that um, space is normal to give your partner space. And um, that may be needed in this new relationship or the relationship that you're already in. Just give it a little space. But all in all, it's a, they're two good cards for relationships and romance. And that's gonna be the challenge. Now let's move on to the outcome. We have the Five of Swords. Now unfortunately, when the Five of Swords appears in a reading, as you can see, if you take a look at the picture, conflict is near. Conflict is near for sure. Um, but, Keep in mind, things, they may not work out as you would hope for with a relationship. Now, it could be a romantic relationship that you're in, or it could be a situationship. <laughs> so think calmly and carefully about what your deal breakers are in that relationship. Be honest with yourself first, then be honest with your lover and accept whatever the situation or accept the reality of it. And it's paired with the Ace of Wands. Now, if you're single, this can indicate the beginning of a new love relationship headed your way. So make yourself available for love in whatever way makes sense to you. If you are committed, the Ace tells you that the relationship is about to undergo a new type of beginning. And you two will rise to new levels of understanding each other. So make sure you two express yourselves. With these two cards paired together, the Five of Swords is just letting you know 
that conflict is near. Things may not work out as you hoped. Now this could be a relationship or a friendship, okay? Uh, conflict is near. Think, think carefully about what your deal break breakers are in that relationship. It's not saying it's ending, but it's just conflict. And that's with any relationship. Uh, they all have conflict, okay? And it's paired with the Ace of Wands. So it looks like the conflict that you could experience in this relationship, uh, it turns out for the better. It, it was something that was needed because it restarts uh, the feeling of a new love in the relationship. And if you're single, a new love is headed your way. So make yourself available for love in whatever way makes sense to you. Okay, so it's not a bad thing. It works out. The conflict was needed. All right, and that's going to be the outcome. Outcome. 